You fix the Morse code transmitter, but you will also be receiving a message from Shadow Fox that you will need to decode. This decoder is here for you to help you translate the Morse code you receive into English. Let's code it to pop up when we press and hold the spacebar, and hide when we let go of the spacebar. First, we need to initialize this part of the program. We don't want it to cover our keys, so when the green flag is clicked, we'll hide it. Then, also in the events category, we will pull out a when space key pressed block. The code for this is very similar to our other keys, but since we want it to hide as soon as we let go of our space key, it will be a bit more complex. I like to write down a sentence of what I want to have happen in English. When the space key is pressed, show the decoder sprite and wait until the space key is not pressed anymore, then hide. Being able to look at this helps me to think through which blocks I will need. I'll leave this sentence up as I build the code. I have already completed the first part of this sentence by bringing out a golden when space key pressed block. So I'm going to change that text to be a gold color. I'll bring out a purple show block. So I'll change the corresponding text in the sentence to purple. Get it? I won't explain each step, but watch carefully. Under the control category, I find a wait until Under sensing, I find a key space pressed. Then green operators gives me the not block that I need. Now I just need to put them all together. Even though this reads kind of funny, wait until not key space pressed. What it really means is wait until the space key is not pressed. Finally, we add the hide block to it and connect it. Do you see that because I wrote my sentence out, it made it easier to build an algorithm of blocks that match the logic of my sentence? I'm going to put the sentence in a comment to help me remember the sentence that helped me build the code. Let's see if it functions the way I planned. I'm pressing the space bar now and now. It works. Now you have a fully functioning Morse code transmitter and decoder. Shadow Fox is waiting for you to send our call sign before giving a response. Try typing our call sign, confirming that it is safe for Shadow Fox to respond. Then wait and listen to see if you get an incoming message. Use the decoder to decode any incoming message.